Today we're talking about the evolution of home storage. In the early 50s and 60s when track homes were being developed, storage was minimal. In fact, most of the time storage, specifically when it came to clothing, was stored in furniture pieces, such as armoires and dressers. So as we moved on to 70s and 80s, you'll see that most homes came with a storage closet, similar to what you'll see here at our 5151 East Earl. A simple storage closet at the entry that allows you to be able to hang coats, any additional storage needs that you might have. And then we slowly transitioned to more storage. One of the main reasons for this is our homes started to get larger and they started to spend more time associated in the home. Also through the industrial era, we started to accumulate more and more stuff. So a traditional storage closet that you'd see in the 80s, 90s, and maybe early 2000s would look something like this. A little larger, maybe walk-in capacity. But still not a lot when it comes to the needs of the modern day home buyer. Homes started transitioning to something that we saw in the Midwest, which was considered a mudroom. This was a drop zone typically in some of more of the rural areas of the country. And it allowed for people to be able to come in to the home, especially in the colder climates, and be able to have a place to be able to store their coats, their boots, their shoes, any other pertinent items that they would be utilizing on a daily basis. This mudroom phenomenon came about in the 2000s as we started to see the evolution of the modern farmhouse and it became a design factor in almost every home that allowed for the builder and the design team to create a unique space with designer grade finishes. So it moved from a functional space to a focal point in the home. So at 5151 East Earl, as well as most of our other homes, this has become a central component to our home building process. So how are these spaces typically used today? Well, one of the things that we've got from feedback of our previous clients, this place has become essential for multiple reasons. As we start our day, we ultimately want to become more organized. We live in a more hectic and chaotic environment, and this provides an aesthetically pleasing space that's organized and functional. As you'll see here, we typically have a wall that's appointed with coat hooks to allow for you to be able to have a sweatshirt or a coat or whatever it is that you need for the day, as well as lower drawers that allow you to be able to store any footwear that you might be utilizing as you go to work, go to school, or just go out and play. We always want to appoint our mudrooms with a bench that allows you to be able to transition from indoor life to outdoor life, as well as closed storage options, in this case with a push to open, that allow you to be able to hide anything that is less desirable and creates clutter that might be seen by any guests that are passing through. Typically these spaces from a functional perspective are gonna be located at the entrance of the garage, allowing for easy access both in the morning and the evening when leaving and entering the home. This immediately provides an opportunity for you to be able to leave the work day or the school day behind by dropping off the necessities that you'll need for the next day and being able to move on to any of the things that you need to do or accomplish as you wind down your day. So as you can see, mudrooms have become a crucial component of the building process and the functionality of a home that exists today. We're so happy that you're following us here at Rebuild the Block. Please click or subscribe below. Have a great day.